Hi everybody, Steph here and what we're going to show you today is a lovely Mont Blanc fountain pen with the outer case here. If we take the inside out of the outer case like so, you see the pen comes in this black sort of uh, leather like um, case with this white line and if we open it up you'll see it's got this lovely sort of velvet like lining with a Mont Blanc name to the back with a symbol and most important the pen inside the box. Now let's put the box to one side and what we have here is, well this is a lovely pen that I acquired recently so I thought I'd actually show it to you. What we have is a Mont Blanc Starwalker metal and a rubber fountain pen. The Starwalker range they come in numerous different um, patterns, different designs um, I mean generally the, the sort of design of the pen is, is the same but they come in different different finishes if you like. As we said this one is a lovely metal and rubber. Um, the outer black section here and here is this lovely smooth like rubber material and I believe uh, Mont Blanc describe it as having uh, diamond cut lines. These lines um, that make up the pattern here they say that these are actually diamond cut. The trim to the pen um, is uh, platinum plated, so we've got a platinum plated trim, i.e. the clip, the all the different trim here. And if we just show you the bottom here, you see the bottom has got this sort of rounded section and we'll show in a moment it's got this um, sort of thread to the bottom here. And if we show you the clip there, it's got the very recognisable Starwalker clip here. Okay, and to the very top there, you see it's got this like sort of glass section. And if you just notice inside the glass section there, you can see this floating Mont Blanc emblem. And if we show you a dead on view like that, you can see the floating um, emblem inside there. So it's actually floating within this um, sort of glass-like material to the top. If we come back to the clip here, you see it's got this cap, sorry, clip band to the top there. And if we turn it round there, you'll see it actually says, says he, let's turn it round for you. You can see it's got Mont Blanc written all the way around the top of the band there. And then if we take you just next to the clip there, you'll see we've got the serial number to the to the top of the well to the clip band there. Okay, so all in all, a very nice pen. Slightly heavy. Okay, obviously you'd expect that being a metal pen. The size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom is approximately 140 millimeters capped. Around the barrel here. It's approximately 11.5 mil, uh, sorry, 11.85 millimeters in diameter, and the cap to the top there actually unscrews. So once we unscrew the cap there and show you the pen, okay, a very sturdy, sturdy sort of made pen. It feels, it feels like a quality pen as well. Okay, so. Let's put the cap down here. So what you'll see here, it's got this uh, platinum plated section there with the thread to the bottom. And if we show you the nib here, you'll see it's got a, um, a Mont Blanc. This is a 14 karat gold nib um, and it has this rhodium plate to it. Okay, so a 14 karat rhodium plated nib. And if we turn it sort of sideways on, let's give you a sideways view there. And if we turn it all the way around, there's the feed to the back. Okay, so let's give you a nice sort of twirl there to the feed. Okay, so all in all, lovely, lovely pen. Now this particular pen is a cartridge only fountain pen. It doesn't take converters. So what you'd do if you had a cartridge is simply unscrew the barrel like so and you simply pop in a Mont Blanc cartridge into the section there, press it on tightly 
and then what you'd simply do then is screw the barrel back onto the section like so and away you'd go to write with the pen <coughs> excuse me now I'm not a fan of actually posting caps but this particular pen has a thread here which is specifically designed to post the cap like so okay so at this point it's it's quite a balanced pen again a little bit on the heavy side but some people actually prefer that so as you can see you can actually post the cap to the back there because as we said earlier it's got this thread there which is specifically designed for the cap to be posted now I do not have a, um, any cartridges for this particular pen as I say I acquired the pen recently it just came to me as it is now so but what we'll do we'll actually, we'll actually just dip the pen just for a writing sample okay so what we have here is a Mont Blanc and again please don't send me messages saying that I've actually pronounced it wrong everyone pronounces it whichever way they, they wish I just simply say Mont Blanc okay so it's a Mont Blanc Star Walker this particular nib is a broad nib okay you can see on the downward stroke we're getting quite a broad nib sorry uh, quite a broad line and the stroke across we can actually achieve a fine line so if we do the figure of eights like so one two three four and nine so all in all broad nib very very nice writer very smooth to write with well as you'd expect with a top well not necessarily a top of the range pen but as you'd expect from a Mont Blanc pen so let's show you the sample like so as you can see lovely writer nice and smooth as you'd expect from a Mont Blanc so let's pop the cap back on and there we have it we'll keep it at that nice and simple so what we have here is the Mont Blanc Star Walker metal and rubber by well by as it says on the tin by Mont Blanc a lovely pen with the floating Mont Blanc symbol to the top which incidentally um, represents a snow cap mountain of Mont Blanc so there we have it the Mont Blanc Star Walker metal and rubber fountain pen I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you as always don't forget there's plenty more videos on my channel go and have a look don't be shy and leave a comment but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now